Hello and welcome to Phoenix, newest Phoenix, and we are in the Arca car. And I believe it is the first time in official series racing we are taking the Arca car to the newest Phoenix. At least uh, my first time and the first time uh, it's been scheduled as far as I know. Heading out to qualifying here. Your exit is clear. Don't Watch expect to have the fastest time. The number one car in this race, I'm the number two, the number one car got uh, a two-tenths faster lap than me in the open practice. So, um, top five qualifying is my goal, I think. If I can pull that off, I'm feeling pretty good. Green flag, green flag. Try and get a really good run to the line if I can. Slid a little bit there. But it works. Try really hard not to spin it. Very loose. And very easy to overdrive that right there. So. One more lap. 27.3, that's okay. I'll, I'll take that. See if we can improve. <laughs> really saw on the wheel. Trying not to let this break loose too much. I feel like I underdrove this last lap. Alright, improved just a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm cool with that. That's about where I run. You can see my best lap ever was a 27.3. And uh, I was 18 hundredths off of that. So I'll take it. And there's that guy that's two tenths faster. See? I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> so. We'll see what we have for him. Probably not much. I did do this combo once already. Kind of uh, getting back some practice before I start distracting myself by talking about nonsense during the race. And uh, remembering how the Arca car drives, since it's been more than a month, I believe. And uh, kind of got on the right front when I did that race. I ended up finishing second in that one. Very late, uh, like late at night, low strength of field race for that one. But it was all right. I just felt like I could have done better to save the tire. And as of now, we will be starting second. We still got some, uh, got the three that still uh, hasn't put laps in, or put a slow lap in the first lap, so he might have been warming up the tires. We'll see how far he jumps up here in about 10 seconds or so. Hopefully he uh, <laughs> passes me, to be honest, because hate starting on the outside front row. That's someone that's not here, unfortunately, so we are going to have to wait the whole time, probably. 14 has crashed. I'm assuming by the 4X and the uh, meatball flag he had for a moment there, he will reset and give that another try. So the 3 does not pass us. I'm thinking we're probably going to end up, end up outside front row, but that's okay. We'll survive. The goal is to hopefully be good with the tire anyway. Try to find uh, ourselves uh, a spot, as things are usually pretty crazy off the start with the boot... What, not the bootleg, the uh, dog leg. It's not a... <laughs> it's not a black market copy of Phoenix, although it kind of feels that way sometimes, <laughs> if you're used to the old Phoenix. No, it's the dog leg, where everyone's going to be six wide, probably, right off the start. So if I can survive that, find a, a nice spot where I can settle in, try to get consistent laps, and uh, take care of the tire, maybe, you know, never know, if the one runs into trouble with lap traffic, or maybe he just uh, isn't able to save the tire as well. But no matter what, we'll see if we can at least keep it in the top five. I think that's a pretty good goal. So, like I said, we'll have to wait for the 13, even if the 12 does finish up here. And in about 20 seconds, we will be racing at Phoenix. 
In fact, I'm going to run to the air conditioning real quick because it's hot in here. Hopefully that stays on. For some reason, uh, our air conditioning here is like very temperamental. Huh. Temperature mental. I huh, get it. Huh. It uh, decides not to turn on even when you turn it on sometimes. It's uh, very fun. I love being very hot while I'm doing a race. Trying to see if I can get back up to 5,000 oval I rating, but trying not to worry about that too much. Fun to chase things like that, but it is fickle, so you can't worry about it too much. Get session last lap ready. I do want to move the brake bias back. I've been enjoying having it all the way back. Trying to get this car turning with the brakes rather than the wheel. Again, to try to protect that right front. See what we can do. Don't really recognize anyone in here. Racing on Saturday. Kind of uh, early evening, I guess is about what time it is. It's solidly into the evening. 7 p.m. In game time. Right about the same. Interestingly enough, Saturday. 7.41, coincidentally. Forty laps isn't too long, but long enough that don't really want to completely roast the tires. We'll try to find a good balance. No car during the drive. Maybe uh, learn something from the one car as well. See where he's getting that extra couple of tenths over everybody else. The track temp is eighty. The air temp is seventy-eight Fahrenheit. 40. It's one to green here, and then we have that. Strange uh, start. Although I do believe we have. No, I, I want I wanted to say restart zones, but I don't think we do with the uh, Arca car. So we won't have that. Definitely a second gear start, I think. We'll see if the restart zone pops up, but I think it's not enabled in the Arca car. It hasn't been in the past anyway. Get ready, going green. See, so you get the get ready, going green, but we won't get it until... Well, we, we shouldn't, anyway. Actually start going until we get to this corner up here. Oh, never mind. He has decided to go very early. Kind of dumb, but... He's the leader, I guess, uh, if the game's gonna... Be programmed that way, that's just what we're gonna get. So, we have confirmed no restart zones. Do you uh, still keep second though? I know he almost caught me off guard. Really don't expect someone to take advantage. But it does happen on occasion. I think a big zone to really make sure I'm hitting the brakes is right there into the final corner. It's very easy to overdrive that and get on the right front, I think. Definitely want to take the dog leg, I think it saves a lot of time. Kind of doing a late turn in to the final corner. I kind of like that. I kind of tried that out a little bit there. Felt pretty good.
Number five is right behind us, pretty close. Hopefully not gonna run me over and get too close. See, I'm getting bigger in that mirror back there. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. Trying not to overdrive it. Felt pretty good there. Big gap, well, big-ish gap behind third place. About a second back from where I am. So maybe not big, but a decent gap. It's good to know about. If the guy does uh, end up getting side by side with me, I'll probably let him go so we don't waste time. Feeling pretty good, trying to balance easing in on the entries. Don't run me over, I see you back there. Goodness gracious. That lap time was trying to balance uh, taking it easy on the entries with I'm trying just to get the right amount of throttle in it to get on the right rear without overdoing it. It's just driving away, kind of what I expected. Hopefully we'll have something for him later, but probably not likely. That's okay. I am the number two car after all. Nice uh, time of day here. Sun setting. Track's pretty nice and cool. Gives us some grip. At least as long as the tire's willing to give that grip. Not to get tight. Kind of pulling away a little bit from the guy behind. I'm happy about that. He was making me a little bit nervous on some of the entries. I think the time he got really close to me, that was on me, though, because I feel like I got hurt from that. Still. I'm nervous, alright? I don't want to get dunked. Nobody wants that. Unless you just watch to laugh at me fail, which... Fair enough. I think the guy behind got loose or something. I all of a sudden I gained a little bit on him. We are approaching lap traffic. That could be a factor, depending on uh, how well we're able to get around when we catch them and all that good stuff. Was a big factor in the race I didn't record here. Part of that, I think, though, was single split. And uh, some guys that were really having trouble just uh, holding on to the thing and all over the track. We're at the very least holding steady with the leader. He's not just continuing to pull away, although he might just be holding that gap. Knowing that he doesn't need to do any more than what he's doing. Still quite a ways to go. We're not even halfway there yet. Get in your mind that these uh, ARCA races are not very long, but you're guaranteed the green flag laps, so it can end up feeling longer. That was that Just because you don't get any breaks for cautions or anything. The gap in front is now 1.5 seconds. 
got to be ready to do some green flag racing. I feel like I'm doing an okay job. Uh, not overdriving this thing. Feeling all right. We'll see if that's true or not later. I feel like I'm getting some good rotation through the brakes. slid it necessarily yet. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Once we keep this thing headed in the right direction, spawn or spinning myself or anything, I think I'm feeling pretty good about a top three, given the nice uh, distance we have back to fourth. Always think about that pit wall there on entry to uh, to the final corner. I feel like you want to get pretty close to it to get a good angle, but it's pretty scary driving near it. I don't think I've ever hit it, but I also don't want to ever hit that. still feeling good as we are uh, now halfway once I cross the line last lap I under drove the corner again at least if I'm going to do that maybe the tires are happy for a good corner so silver lining I guess if I'm going to underdrive Leader gets around a lap car. Hopefully we'll have no trouble when we get there. Leader really taking the dog leg, cutting as much as he can. Like I said, I think that can be important. You do gain a non-insignificant amount of time by cutting through. Seems pretty necessary. Got behind's falling back. That's the good news. Bad news is the leader's getting farther away. Approaching the 14, and that blue monster energy R. Car outside. Keep low. Outside, clear. Fortunately, he messes up our exit. Not his fault, it's just a left car. I'd have to pass him somewhere. It does hurt us on speed a little bit. A little loose. Fought it off though, we're good. You can see where we lost time last lap.
at the very least, it seems we've at, uh, we've uh, saved tires better than the five behind us. So, just not doing the worst on tires. Good barometer for how I'm doing. We'd be able to catch the leader. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> Do we have any uh, up and comers with maybe some better tires approaching from behind? See that the uh, five is potentially about to get passed by the four. They're quite a ways back, and I imagine they might fight for a lap or two. So I think I'm feeling pretty good about a top two at the moment. Got a bit before our next lap traffic comes up. See the 15 and the 11 on the relative. Could be a little while before we get there. Can't even really see them on track. Oh yeah, you can. Go out there that quarter over there. Just barely on the horizon. Still just holding steady with the leader. About 1.8. It's been really uh, around that mark, around that mark for a while. Did you just make a mistake, though? It looked like he was up the track a bit. Or is that his line? He didn't seem to lose anything. And to go this time by. I think maybe he does just drive a little higher up the track. I kind of keep near this seam down here. Just use the throttle to let it rotate. That's worked for me pretty well. Keep it near the bottom and the final corner as well. You may notice I used the terms final corner <laughs> and such because I can never remember how these turns are numbered anymore. trying, but he's really looking like he's just pulling away now. I don't think I have anything for him, unfortunately. Still pretty happy with how this has gone, though. I feel like I did a decent enough job uh, saving tires. pretty consistent, just uh, don't have quite the speed, and that's okay. Still taking big chunks out of that dog leg. Alright, Colton, we're matching race pace. I am too. Time was at I think he's going even a little more aggressive with it even. Kinda gets an angle on it on it. It's really uh worked to perfect the line around this place, it looks like. Missed the line just a little bit there. It's a little bit wide. Five to go. Five to go. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Full two seconds behind. Actually, the five has held on to that spot. 
I haven't looked at that in a while. I assumed the four was going to pass him. It looked like he caught him, but uh, that did not end up happening. In fact, something else I noticed. Very quiet race. Doesn't seem there's much uh, going on. It might be a very uh, tame incident. Roundup report. Book report. <laughs> It's nice to have a nice clean race. Push, 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 He's still push, just about 1.8 ahead of us. It would be interesting to know if uh, he is just running out of pace, kind of taking it easy, or if uh, he's working hard to maintain the gap. It would make me feel better if he's having to work hard, but he's probably, probably just holding it, to be honest. Two laps to go. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Okay, Colton. And coming to the white flag. The gap's now 1.8. White flag. One more left to go. I maybe mean, could have just pushed harder. But I do feel like I'm already kind of driving on the edge anyway. So I've kind of just uh, hit my limit here. The number one car has earned his place as the number one car. And we'll be the number one finisher here. We'll finish number E2. Good race, good win one. Thank you, man. Good run. Good drive. Yeah, just didn't have quite the speed. I think he's probably uh, more aggressive on the throttle, if I had to guess. He might uh, drive a little harder, but use more brake. Could be. I was maintaining more speed. Probably just the throttle thing, to be honest. Gets it on the right rear real good. So, good run to him. I'm happy with our run. I'll always take a P2. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Nothing wrong with the runner-up. And a solid clean run. So we'll hop on out, take a look. Only two incidents. That's what I thought. Very quiet race. Very well done race. And I love to see that. 83-85. That's much better than uh, the last time I, I gave this a try. So I'm happy to see that. I think maybe if I just were, I think it's probably the throttle thing on exit. If I were just a little bit more aggressive on throttle, I could get away with that. You know, the tires would just be more even. 83-83, I'd probably be a little faster. Maybe that's uh, how I would be a little closer to the number one. So, that's what I'll take away from this one. And uh, let's see the few things that maybe did happen. This is where the 2X came from. Loss of control and some wall contact for the 14. He just kind of loses it. I think that was in the dog leg. What happens? Yeah, he just, yeah, I think he took the dog leg kind of a, an awkward way. Like he gets right on this transition zone and then hits this other one. And I think just kind of entering at a strange angle through the dog leg really got him unsettled. And uh, kind of tries to save it. Ends up with a. Uh, a nose diving towards the inside, so that's unfortunate. But that's probably just about the only thing that happened. Or not. The 11's fishtailing. He doesn't get any X's from this, though, unless I missed it. Yeah. He's fishtailing out of the corner. Looks like he probably throttled it up just a little bit too much through there and got it sideways. He's trying to catch it, trying to catch it. Hits the brakes at the right time, and I'm sure he's not happy with it, but at least he kept it 0x. And uh, didn't damage his car too much. Nine's gonna find the wall. This is all the way on lap 29 already, though. And, uh, maybe the nine's getting tight or something because he's gonna do it again two laps later. And once again, this is like seven laps later, although a different part of the track. So he's probably dealing with some tight conditions. But that's the end of the race, I believe. Um, he goes down, gets the cone. I think we actually still have one more lap, so he did that under green conditions. 
But yeah, that's it. Very clean race. That was very nice. Um, we've got some cone abuse going on in general, but not much car abuse other than whatever this is. That'll do it. All right. Nice, simple race. Um, good, clean stuff. Solid run. I'll always take that. So thank you for watching. Uh, I feel like I, you know, getting back into it, kind of remembering some stuff. And uh, finding out what I can do to maybe keep up with the, uh, the leader next time. But for now, I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.